Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time for another Postcard of the Week. And this week, I've got a crazy one for you. I want you to look at an airbrushed postcard. It's kind of a little bit of novelty. It, uh, it kind of fills several categories of collecting, which makes it fun and makes it, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more important than it is. It's a crazy one in that, like I said, it's airbrushed with the, the designing, which means it's been embossed to begin with. And you can look and see these two people uh, talking or speaking on candlestick telephones. And you can see the designing in the lady's hair and all around up above her head it looks like little dots. And I think from what it says, those may be referring to a kissing bug. Well, she says here, the kissing bug inoculated me in Wichita. I've got the habit now. Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure about uh, who all designed this card and, and figured out the text, but for my uh, business, my way of looking at things, and the word inoculated means that you got a jab in the arm or the rear end, and you would be getting inoculated to avoid the kissing bug. But here it is, the kissing bugs all above her and around her, and she has kind of a, 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 a little bit of a smile on her face. And he looks very pleased, too, just to be speaking with each other. If this were, um, well, let me say, the back of the postcard has a has been written on. The uh, text isn't very interesting, so I won't bore you with that. But the stamp has fallen off over the years and along with the year date. So we just have to look at the card and see that it has a divided back which means that probably it was printed after 1907. And with the candlestick phones and everything, I would date it 1910, 1912, maybe. I was telling Alan earlier that Wichita was not unlike a lot of cities, but we were progressive and kind of big time. And at one time we had two and maybe even three telephone companies in Wichita. So it wasn't unusual to go to a like a 1910 city directory and see a little ad talking about this company. Maybe they sold coal or maybe they did dresses for ladies. But they would have in the small print below two or three different phone numbers. Now, I don't know if you had to be connected to the a particular phone company to use the particular number. All that gets pretty uh, pretty hairy and pretty uh, confused, but I'm guessing that they didn't uh, use each other's number, so they kind of made it difficult in those early years, but then, as they say in Great Britain, they sorted things out and then uh, have smooth sailing most of the time like we do now. But this is one of those uh, postcards that uh, has the... Uh, uh, glitter on it. It would just drive post uh, the ladies and gentlemen at the post office where you uh, stand in line and get waited on, show them this, and they would just probably shudder. But thinking about the glitter and these little jewels at the top and the bottom, which appear to be just like single sequins that have been glued on. Well, it's a crazy card. But it's it's fun. It says, again, the kissing bug inoculated me in Wichita, and I've got the habit now. And you see in the center is a felt, a little piece of felt uh, made to a cut to made to look like it's a pennant. And that's another collecting topic that some of my friends collect and look for. But that's been stamped Wichita. And so you could find this card maybe from other towns and other communities who also had their town name on that pennant. 
But uh, hope you like this card today, and uh, thanks for being here, and I'll try to have another one for you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.